that he got here called Centennial. And uh, the, uh, the purpose of the town council is to provide a voice and a communication line between the community and the governments and the portions of government that we need to stay in contact with and provide support for community members who need to function within the rules and regulations of those communities. The county has regulations that they work to enforce and we as a council work to make sure that those regulations and rules don't become so overburdensome on our communities that we can't get relief for them and uh, make it such that the communities can work together and support themselves. That's the biggest thing that town councils do. They don't make rules, they don't make regulations, they don't uh, tax their people. They work because they do it in a professional manner and they work hard, very hard, for no money. They get no pay for this. But what they do do is they get the satisfaction of providing a service to their community and working to interface with the county, with the state, and with sometimes the federal government in the cases where you overlap boundaries and uh, problems with the forestry service. One of the things that's happening out here now is we're having um, a lot of projects coming together with solar and wind farms. And the problem with the area we live in is it's perfect for it. The California regulations and rules are forcing utilities to produce so much green energy that we will be one of those places that's going to be changed because of the green energy that our area is going to be used to produce. What we have to do is try the best we can to mitigate those uh, problems that are cropping up with the encroachment of these uh, solar panels and wind energy. How we do that best is through a town council. And uh, I can uh, attest that they work well when they work as a group. We, as an association working with the other 14 town councils, have accomplished a lot. And we've also bumped our heads against some brick walls. But that's part of dealing with government. Um, we have, tonight, we have guests here that are members of the Three Points, Libre Mountain Town Council. And uh, they, can, they can tell you what happens when, uh, when everybody in the association is working together and trying to uh, do what's right for their communities. Now, the people that are forming this town, reforming, because you've already formed, reforming this town council um, have an opportunity to bring that kind of uh, support for their communities out here. The Oso uh, Town Council is about to become a live, living town council again. When it does that, it will provide you with an interface with the uh, Antonovichs and the uh, health departments, the public works, and the other areas. And as an association with the other town councils that are with our group, we will give you the support that you need to learn the things that you need to learn to interface with the governments and their bureaucracies. I think it's the best way to put it. Um, but it's a pleasure for me to be here tonight. I met with a group of your citizens, that was a week ago, Saturday, on the, the formation and the restart of 
So we're looking forward to starting a uh, election committee and getting you guys going. Um, I'm just going to quickly lay out the process. You, you're having your community meeting here. That's the first step in the process. The second step is to get a formation of a group that will run the election. Now, the people that run the election cannot run for the town council membership. They can't be one of the officers in the town council. So it has to be people who are willing to help provide the support and the legwork to make it happen, but they can't be part of the original town council. So it's a special kind of person that we need. We need somebody who's going to uh, provide the elections, going to uh, make the ballots, is going to set the dates for the uh, candidates to apply, they're going to set the dates for a candidate's forum, and they're going to set the dates for an election, and they're going to make it all happen. But the good thing is, they don't have to do it in a vacuum. We're here as an association and other town councils to help you do that and to make it easier for you to reform and start up your town council again. And we welcome you after you form into our association and you'll be our 15th council. And uh, I'm not telling you you have to join, but we would welcome you into our association where we can all get together once a month and uh, form the, uh, the road work that we need for dealing with our futures. So um, that's all I need to say this evening. But uh, I'm looking forward to being a part of this community and working 